All right, guys, good morning to you. Once again, we are live. I invite you to come join me. It's just about 10 a.m., 10, 9, 59, 34, 35, 36, 37. Anyway, 10 a.m. on this cloudy, looks like it's about ready to rain again. But Wednesday morning is the 19th day of June 2019. I invite you to come join me as we look at a few verses of Scripture, part of our devotion this morning. Now it's 10 a.m. Morning, Debbie. Morning, Mike. So I kind of wanted to share something that's been on my mind for a day or so, and, and um, just to throw out a little bit of encouragement to you all. I don't know how much encouragement you guys get from these devotions. I hope um, it helps you and that you all take the time to to stay the whole duration of the devotion or get the chance to re-watch it if you are busy. And all the scripture that I try to share with you, I hope that you take time and read it for yourself and, and let the Lord minister through His Word um, to you. Good morning, Brother Jim. Hi, Sister Tammy. So, let's get started in this. This, this morning, you know, I, I come across this story, and I've used it several times in my preaching in the past. Um, and I read it again, and I thought, you know, for some reason today, somebody might need to hear this. And so, I want to share this story with you, and I want to look at the verses of Scripture that I think will go right along with this story. Um, in Luke chapter 12, verse 6 and 7, it says, Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. And I was looking at this and, and thinking, you know, a, a farthing um, is... <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But a farthing actually is worth um, about a quarter of a penny. So two farthings is half a cent. So it speaks of having, buying five sparrows for a half a penny. So in other words, the sparrows in, in the vendor's eyes aren't worth very much, or they wouldn't just sell them for a half a penny, five of them for a half a penny. But he says to God, they're, they were, they're worth many more than just a half a cent. And there's other scripture that talks about, you know, the sparrows falling from the sky and not one falls from the sky that God doesn't see. And the reason why I'm talking about this this morning is because I know there are a lot of people who feels like that they're worthless, that they don't really amount to much, that, you know, because people will use them, will abuse them and toss them to the side. Listen, that's what this that's what the devil does to us. He will use us, he will abuse us, and then when he's through with us, he'll just leave us for dead. But God, you know, Jesus Christ wanted to wanted us to know just how much God loves us. And that even though the world may look at us as as the old saying says a dime a dozen, you know, we are priceless in his sight. We are his creation. And he created us in his image and his likeness and he loves us and he cares for us and he's wanting to us to understand that regardless what the world and what people does to us doesn't change our value and I come across this story and as a well-known speaker and he started off his seminar by holding up a, a $20 bill in the room of 200 people he asked who would like to have this $20 bill of course, hands immediately started to go up. He said, I'm going to take this $20 bill and I'm going to give it to somebody, but first, let me do this. And he proceeded to take the, the, the $20 bill and crumple it in his hand. And then he asked, who still wants it? 
Still, everybody's hands went up in the air. Well, he replied, what if I do this? And he dropped it on the ground and he spat upon the on the twenty dollar bill and he took his foot and he grinded it in the floor and he stomped it and and he after he did that he picked it up now crumpled and dirty still he wanted to know surprisingly you know who wanted this hang on be right back and so he asked again he said now that I spit upon it and and it's crumpled and it's dirty and it was on the ground now who would want this twenty dollar bill and almost everybody raised their hand and he said my friends I think we've all learned a valuable lesson here no matter what I did to this money you still wanted it because it did not decrease in value it was worth twenty dollars when I started and it's still worth twenty dollars now he said often in our lives we are dropped crumpled spit upon and and, and thrown on the ground and and grounded in the dirt by the decisions we make and the circumstances that comes our way. He said, some people will even treat us this way and it makes us feel worthless. He said, but here's the thing, no matter what has happened, understand we will never lose our value in God's eyes. To him, dirty or clean, crumpled or, or finely creased, we are still priceless in his sight because we were we're his creation and we're worth so much to him the worth of our lives does not come in who we are but by who we belong to remember we are God's creation he went on to say so give God give yourself back to God our disappointments our sufferings our feelings of worthlessness all the things that we have, all the emotions that we have in life, cast them at God's feet. Let Him love on you. Let Him show you that He, you know, that you are worth. And it don't make no difference if you're, you know, rich or poor, if you're highly educated or not. It doesn't make no difference. You know, you are an individual. God created you in His image, His likeness. He loves you. He cares for you, and He is willing you know to just let you know you know and I know the book of James tells us that man not man ought not to think more of himself than what he is and I agree with that you know there are some people I love to be able to buy them for what they're worth and sell them for what they think they're worth you know but in God's eyes we we were priceless in God's eyes the only price that was willing to buy us back was the, the blood of his own precious son. That means we're worth something to him. Created us and then redeemed us. And again, so Luke chapter 12 verses 6 and 7 are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, half a, half a penny. And not one of them is forgotten before God. But even the very hairs of your head are numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows and as I read this and I preached on that subject in Luke 12 and then I've also thought about this $20 story and and you know just no matter what you do with the $20 bill you know you can tear it you can throw it down you can stomp it you can spit on it you can do everything you can to it but it's still worth $20 it doesn't change the value and I can't help but to think about um, Luke chapter 15. I'm not going to read it to you. I'm not going to go long into it. But Luke chapter 15 verses 11 through 24 is my very, very favorite parable that Jesus shares of the prodigal son. And you know the story. And he said, give me what belongs to me. And he went out in, into the world and went and spent all of his money on riotous living. And there was a famine, a drought to come in. And he lost all of his money. Plus he lost all of his quote unquote friends because when the money's gone the friends are gone you know shows you they're not true friends and he found himself slopping the hogs and then and, and eating the husks of the hogs and he came to himself and said you know I could be a hired servant at my father's house and he came to himself and, and filthy and dirty as he is and was and he started towards father's house and and you know the story and father was out there and uh, while the prodigal son was yet afar off his father saw him 
And I love the beauty of the story because he wasn't, when he seen his son coming, he didn't stand on the porch with his arms folded and his toe tapping, waiting for his son to beg for forgiveness. But the Bible says that the father had ran and met his son. He said while his son was afar off, he saw him. And I can't help but to talk about the subject of what did his father see. I know in, in many people's opinion, his father probably saw him filthy and dirty and, and 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 you know torn clothes and ragged ragged clothes and barefooted and, and hair probably all muddy and messy and you know he was probably a sight and that's what the world sees but I think when the father saw him <laughs> when the father saw him he didn't see the filth he didn't see the sin he didn't see all that when the father saw him he saw his son Folks, listen, when we come to God, He don't look at us and say, Oh, look how filthy you made yourself. Look how filthy and dirty you are. And, and, and point out all of our failures and all of our faults and all of our sins. But what God sees when He sees us coming to Him is, I see my creation. I see somebody who I sent my son to die for. I see a son that was dead but now is alive. That was lost but now is found. See, listen, no matter what the prodigal son looked like, no matter what his troubles was, he didn't lose his value in the eyes of his father. Folks, listen, no matter what the world does to you, no matter how Satan abuses you, no matter what the people does to abuse you, no matter what your decisions that you make, I want you to know as long as there's life in your body, you're not too far gone to come back to your Heavenly Father. You're not too far gone to seek His face. And no matter how worthless people makes you feel, in God's eyes, you're priceless. In God's eyes, He, he wants you back. And you are more than many sparrows, Jesus said, in the eyes of God. So listen, today, if you feel down, if you feel disheartened, if you feel like you're not really worth anything, or you feel like that you're not worthy of God's love, listen, I want you to know that that is beyond untrue. Beyond untrue. God loves you. He created you in His image and His likeness. And you are worth more to God than anything that this world has to offer. Trust in Him today. Give your life to Him. If you haven't already, give your life to Him. Lord, here I am. Reconcile me back to you. Because listen, regardless of what you're going through, the world, I heard an old quote some time ago. It says, it's not what the world calls you, but it's what you answer to. And, you know, I love this statement. But folks, listen, sometimes Satan gets us down and we feel like we're unworthy. We feel like we're worthless. But understand, in God's eyes, we're priceless because we're his creation if you're a christian if you're a follower of jesus christ then the bible says you become sons and daughters of christ of, of god so you know listen he loves you today and he gave his only begotten son that we can be reconciled back to him folks if we just accept him so listen that's all i got for you today um i'm going to be gone away from work a little vacation um, tomorrow and Friday and Monday and Tuesday but Lord willing I'll try to get on um, and give you a devotion um, even though I'm not going to be here at work for you know total of six days but four work days um, so if I'm not on then I'll try to share something um, anyway but if not I'll be back on Wednesday and we'll pick up our um, devotions then so listen thanks for watching love you guys have a great day God bless you